welcome back to 101 Sports. I'm now joined by Tim Krause and Ben Greenberg to talk some hockey. Boys, Matt Cook was involved in yet another controversial play, this time involving Eric Carlson's Achilles. Was this a dirty play? You know what, Matt Cook is a historically very dirty hockey player. Yes, he is. However, the Penguins organization sat Matt Cook down a couple years ago and said, look, we are going to cut you unless you change your style of gameplay. Cook took note and has not been suspended for 23 consecutive months. By NHL standards, he is now a clean player, and his, his slate has been wiped clean. I don't care that he hasn't been suspended since 2011. This is one of the dirtiest players in the NHL, and once a dirty player, always a dirty player. Matt Cook single-handedly ended the career of Mark Savard in 2010. So Absolutely. I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt in this case. He could have. And he well, could have. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, let's, let's be honest. This was a hockey play. He was, pinning, he, was, he was pinning Carlson up against the boards, and it, there, it wasn't even a hit. It was just he, the sticks got tangled. You could clearly see his right foot lifts off the ice. Okay. And when he Let tries me. to put it back down, he inadvertently hits the ankle of Carlson. It's ben. really nothing. And, and with his ben, slate that I, has been so clean lately, I don't see how you don't give him the benefit of the doubt When I saw here. the replay the first time, I thought it was incidental. But then as I watched it more and more, Maybe there was some intent in there. Why, when you're pinning someone in the, on the boards, Ben, do you need to lift your skate off the if, ice? If you, Why if do you, you need to put it down? His, in their sticks get tangled up, and his foot accidentally comes off the ice. But if it's going down on the Achilles of the back of someone's leg, why do you need to slide it off? Uh, in a this, look, motion? this is a tough one to debate. It really is because it's it's about intent. But he is looking down at the puck. He's not looking at, at the ankle of anybody, and, and his state and his skate comes down. Given I, his history, you can't give him the benefit. I, 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 I agree with both you guys. You both obviously make great points. But when a player's historically just been given that dirty car just people just think his play nonetheless is dirty but going off of that question should Brendan Shanahan who is the head of disciplinary in the NHL be doing more to prevent these kinds of situations okay he clearly has one of the hardest jobs in hockey and I think he's doing a decent in job in sports yeah but I think he could be doing more the problems I have with Shanahan is he's notorious for overreacting when someone gets hurt as opposed to when someone doesn't get hurt, even if the play's the same. I think his job has to be to prevent the injuries and not overreact to the injuries after right. they happen. I mean, I guess, I guess I understand, but what I do like about Brendan Shanahan is I, I think he's done a very good job at protecting the players in the sense that he doesn't care how big the game is, it's the same suspension. In the playoffs last year, he dished out nine suspensions. That is unprecedented and what I thought was even over the top, if he anything. Do, he does dish out suspensions regardless of when the occurrence happen right but the thing I don't like is whether someone got hurt is depends on the length of the suspension it should be the Grant, gravity of the hit. granted Rafi Torres when he delivered the, oh, yeah. the body check on Marion Hosa oh, yeah. that was a that was a big hit and he did leave his feet was not even penalized at the time he still gave him 25 game suspension yeah. the third longest in NHL history and, it was and rightfully and, so and, and it was rightfully yeah. so exactly but I, I don't see how he could be doing more to protect his players than he is and that suspension definitely came as a surprise to everybody that Rafi Torres right. suspension but yeah. a bigger surprise uh, going on that, who has been the biggest surprise in the NHL so far, for better or worse? Well, as a New York Ranger fan, it has to be the Washington Capitals. I mean, I'm used to literally basing the Rangers' season off of how good the Caps are doing, right? I, oh, we're two <laughs> points behind the Caps, we're two points ahead of the Caps, this and that, for years. And now, the team with the best player in hockey today is sitting at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. That's amazing to me. Okay, you got to give the Caps a little bit of leeway here. They right. brought in a new coach, yeah, Adam O'Chu. Hard. It's, it's a whole new system, <laughs> and in their past four games, they're three and one. You're going to go negative for this question. I'm going positive. I'm going to go with the New Jersey Devils. This is a team that went into the season losing Zach Parise, their captain and their star. They also lost veteran Peter Sikora. Right. That's a combined 52 goals they lost, and yet this team, if the season ended today, would be the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. That's their incredible. offense has been amazing. The defense you know has been amazing. Marty Brodeur is defying his age once again. Yes. They're a great story. It's, it, it's frustrating. Uh, as, as a Rangers fan, <laughs> I bet it, it's it sure is. But, I mean, the... And I, I agree with you. They've yeah, played great this definitely. season, but they did go to the Stanley Cup last year. That I mean, to say but the biggest did. surprise in a positive way, it, it's a little bit of a stretch. Zach Parise has a special. I think everybody was a little surprised just seeing the Devils make it to the Stanley Cup. So yeah. definitely to, right. to repeat the kind of play they were they were playing at such a high level in the postseason last year to it's continue fair. that in the beginning yeah. of the season this year, very very impressive. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's time for us to take a quick break. But when we return, Preston will sit down with our NBA experts to rank some all-time greats. Stay tuned.